Look at that lady. These medical bills Whoa. have followed Terry Belk since 2003, when his wife Sandra was diagnosed with breast cancer. We had private health insurance, and we thought we had good insurance. But anyway, uh, that was $23,000. Outside of what the insurance Outside coverage. Outside of insurance coverage, right. Terry has been telling his story for years, talking to our Charlotte, North Carolina affiliate in 2022. It's a lot of money to me. We wanted to hear how to this day the debt continues to haunt him. You weren't running away from these bills. No, I wasn't running away. I was trying to actually uh, pay them. Pay them. About 14 million Americans owe at least $1,000 in medical debt. The top three states, South Dakota, Mississippi, and Belk's home state of North Carolina. As his wife battled cancer, he stopped working as a car salesman to care for her. Then the calls started to come, even before her death. We regret to contact you during this difficult time. They was threatening lawsuits and judgments and running our credit. He signed a deed of trust, a type of lien with the health system, allowing them to collect $23,000 when he sells his home. So this medical debt follows you around, it follows literally. You around. It's like an albatross around my, my neck. We asked Atrium Health about Terry's case. A spokesman told us Atrium stopped filing liens to collect unpaid debts owed by patients in 2022 and has used litigation against patients, quote, as a last resort. Belk signed the deed of trust voluntarily, the spokesman said, quote, and presumably on the advice of his attorney. Bernita Haynes yeah. is a senior so attorney at the National right. Consumer Law um, Center. The average medical debt is not necessarily tens of thousands of dollars. It can literally just be a thousand dollars that a person owes that they simply can't pay. And it is the biggest cause of personal bankruptcy. Tactics to collect the debt can range from garnishing wages, putting a lien on someone's house like Terry, or even a civil arrest warrant. In June, Vice President Kamala Harris and the director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau announced a proposal to remove medical debt from people's credit reports, which, according to the White House, would help lead to the approval of 22,000 more mortgages a year. Credit reports are extremely uh, important when folks are trying to obtain an, a loan for a home or an auto loan, things like that. As president, Donald Trump cracked down on surprise out-of-network bills that can lead to so much medical debt. Some states are passing their own laws to protect citizens against interest in late fees, liens on their homes, or abusive collection tactics. And North Carolina's governor negotiated with hospitals to eliminate $4 billion in debt for Medicaid beneficiaries going back to 2014. But Terry Belk says his debt is too old to qualify for the recent relief. All of this is a physical and mental strain on me. And there's more. Terry owes $8,000 for his own prostate cancer treatment. I'm sure I'm going to take this debt uh, into the afterlife. For Terry and millions of Americans, health care turned into a financial crisis. Christine Romans, NBC News, Charlotte, North Carolina. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.